Okay, so in the video where I showed you how to search through a um, CSV file for a specific piece of information, we were searching through um, entire rows and entire fields of information, which when you've only got a text file this big, so I'll bring it over, you've only got, uh, what have we got here, one, two, three, four, five lines with six pieces of information. Very, very small file. Um, if you were to have the opposite of that and you had thousands of, of records, thousands of lines with, I don't know, maybe a dozen pieces of information, that's a lot of single pieces of information for the program to individually check and return a positive or true a uh, false or true uh, return value. So I missed out in the previous video to this how to search for a specific column uh, for the information. So again, if I bring this back over, um, you can see here we've got a, fo uh, a first name, a surname, a gender, and then scores, score results one, two, and three. So a common search um, for this kind of of uh, information would be to search for all the females and all the males or to maybe search for someone who got above five or below five that kind of thing so I'm gonna keep it simple with just searching for the gender and only returning people based on the results of the gender being true or false so um, I've got a, I've got a blank document here I'm not gonna use an old one to confuse with all the uh, previous existing code because we only need you know, one function. So same as before, import a, a CSV, and we're going to open up our score file. So this is my score file, scores.txt. So we've open in quotes scores.txt. Close the quotes, comma, and we're over, only open it as read only. So we we'll use the argument R there. We're going to open it as a score file with capital F. Insert a colon. Uh, next, what we want to do is I'm going to set up the score file reader um, just so we've got an object reading into the CSV. So CSV.reader, and we're opening a score file object. So at the moment, all our code does is opens up the text file, it stores the contents into score file reader object and now we want to search through that object so uh, before we get chance to do that we need to get the information off the user that we're searching the file for so as I said before I'm going to be searching for the gender so I'm just going to create a variable here called gender which is going to be equal to the user's input I'm going to enter a prompt so enter gender uh, and close it. So when this runs now it will open the text file, store the text file contents into an object and it's going to ask the user to enter a gender um, and it's going to store it inside this object. So now we need to be looping through our uh, rows so for row in score file reader so for every row in that reader um, if row and this is where um, I just want to iterate this point or reiterate the point because I've said it in a few videos. When you're dealing with a list um, and the object or, or yeah, the object has a position for each of the values, this first value isn't one, it is zero. So if I wanted to search the first row, I would put in square brackets here, zero. 0 refers to the first column, 1 would refer to the second column, and uh, so on. So if I want to search the third column here, um, well, we just knock 1 off 3, it gives us 2. Um, so if row 2, so if the third column, um, if that is equal to, so a double equal sign, we're not assigning something we're comparing, so we use a double equal sign. If that is equal to the value stored in gender, then, with the uh, colon, we're going to print that row. So print row. Um, give this a save. So here you can see we've got a one, two females, and three males. So I'll run this twice just to show um, it works. So if we give this F5, um, enter gender. I just want to bring the 
scores here again. So enter gender, we're going to start with the males. So I type in male, it will print out Mike, Lee and Andy. And we can see here, well, Sarah's not a male, Mike is, Lee is, Andy is and Michelle isn't. So I'm going to give it another run. This time I'll enter female and it only prints out Sarah and Michelle. And just so it's on video and, and, and if any of you would be curious, if you were to put a capital F for female, um, it wouldn't return because it classes the F, um, uppercase or lowercase, as two different uh, values. So to put in a fail safe for, fail safe for that, um, you could ask them to type in gender and then if gender, if female matched um, a list of different ways of spelling this and then you'd use that list to print a row that's getting into sort of error redundancy which is possibly another video but just showing if you didn't type this incorrectly you wouldn't get any results it has to be exactly the same as it is uh, stored in the text file so I'm sorry I missed that out in the last video um, I didn't really explain this all so I thought I'd address it with this with this update so thanks for watching and I hope this has happened.